Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful sunset here in the Florida Keys. Getting ready for it. It's nice when I could just leave home at about 6 o'clock, get out here around 7, check things out, and then right at Sunday, set, waiting for that magic hour. Um, I think I'm going to show you how I built these prior to this. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be playing with. Um, I was basically last night 0 for 10, 0 for 12, uh, just getting the stick, but couldn't get them to stick. And that had a lot to do with, uh, I was using an old bait that I'd been uh, sitting underneath my seat for, well, since last tarpon season when I was doing this. So right about a year and that hook was all rusty. Stand still hook, still had a point on it, but it just wasn't sticking them. They were grabbing it. I get a couple tugs on them and it would just fall right out. I could feel it. So today, got some brand new baits all set up. You can get at www.allaboutthebait. Um, this is my favorite here, the all white pearl. And then the uh, pearl with the uh, black top. We're gonna be throwing both of these today. Got them nose rigged with the uh, springs that I sell as well. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait until the sun drops, gets almost to the point where it's pitch black. And then these guys are doing the bathtub slamming on the mullet out here, so. That's the plan. We're going to test the uh, swimming pattern. Oh, there's a tarp in there. Well, there's close to where my bait is. Get them, get them, get them. So I'm running the one lead weight on the bottom. And then if I slowly troll it back, it gives it the paddle, but then it's not spinning, which is the biggest thing that I don't want. So we can do some test throws, but really it's right after the dark period when the sun's down and uh, the fish start feeding. You can see there's a whole school of them just rolling right there. Right now they're just playing. They're not feeding, so I'm really not expecting much. Uh, it's when that sun goes out and then they start turning on and then we could start hammering them. But for now, I'm just going to test drive these uh, soft plastics and wait for them to start feeding. All right, the sun is down, but it's still pretty light out because of sunset, but still not there. These are the beginning of the magic hour, but it seems like they're hitting at the end of the magic hour when there's basically just a tiny bit of glow left, but it's dark everywhere else, and that's kind of been the ticket. Mr. Sharky controlling the edge of the flats there. No Sharkies tonight. Leave my tarpon alone. And I'll let it go. Dang it. Well, you can get a good idea of the amount of light. That's about the beginning of it. I think something's got it. I don't think it's a tarpon, though. Uh, maybe. Oh! Yeah, that'd be a tarpon. go yeah buddy well you can kind of see that's what I was talking about that low light there's when the time frame starts Let me get this guy up as quickly as possible get that weeds off I want to get you released as soon as possible there. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know where he's going. Make sure no sharks are after him. There, he's done. Uh, 
You are done. 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 Got it in deep. All right. All right. <laughs> there we go. Let's revive this guy and get him out of here. Whoa, sharks, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh. I hope you made it. Whoo, that was a bit close. Shark Week 2019. Since we're on the subject of sharks eating my fish, the bloody tuna shark shirt. Back in stock. For a short time, $25. Includes free delivery. But wait, there's more. Don't forget, uh, with the purchase of any hat or any of the shirts, you can get a face mask for half price. Uh, all you gotta do is select your hat or shirt, go to the mask section, select your mask. When you check out, there's a discount code box. Type in half price mask, all one word, and it'll discount half the cost. You can also do it as many times as you want. Five hats, five masks, discounts all five of them. But wait, there's more. Don't forget, I've got the Yelltail Snapper jig shirts back in stock. Sold a ton of these. I've got another shipment hitting this week, so I'll have them all in stock. So anyways, www.allaboutthebait.com. Dang it. That's the second one. Hammering the crap out of it. Well, things slowed down quite a bit. Had a few uh, hookups with the uh, paddle tails, but I'm gonna go home and do a little bit of a recap because I want to look at what the conditions were compared to the day before because things changed quite a bit. So let's run on home and check it out. Well, today is the following night. Um, I actually wanted to figure out what happened in regards to why one night it's just exploding bathtub tarpon all over the place. And then the next night, just nothing really, just very minimal. Even though I caught fish, there was just not the, the tarpon leaping out of the water and so forth. Um, I took a look at the wind conditions, the tide condition, the moon, and they were very similar. The tide shifted maybe about 40 minutes, but I stayed through that and there was still nothing. So I didn't figure it out until today when I went out, did a bait check. Couldn't really find very many tarpon in any of my spots, so I made the run out to the Gulf side. And as soon as I went under the bridge to the north side there, it was just miles and miles of mullet and just whited out water. Um, so that's pretty much what, was, what happened is, is that uh, the mullet moved back out to the Gulf side. I'm sure the tarpon followed them, and that's why there was lackadaisical action. But now I know. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye. Don't forget your shirt and hat. And buff.